Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can make what you're running on localhost accessible on other devices and with anyone else that you'd like to make it accessible to. So I'll show you two ways of doing this. The first one makes it accessible for another device on your local network and the second way makes it accessible to anyone online via a shareable link. So either way, the first step is to start running your project on localhost. So for this, I'm going to be using the live server extension in Visual Studio Code. So if you don't have it already, you can get it for free from the marketplace. And then when it's installed, you can start running your project on localhost. So it's up and running on port 5501 on localhost. So this IP here is for this machine. So to access what's running on this port on another device on this network, you need to find out the IP address of this device on the network. So I can do this via the command line and I'm going to run our shell here as an administrator because I want to use a profile on this computer and sometimes that means that you can't run certain commands and the command that I need to run to find out the IP address of this device on the local network is ipconfig if you're running this on a Mac then you want to type instead ifconfig so this is the IP of this computer on the network. So what I can do with this is on another device connected to the network. So I'm sharing the screen of my mobile here. So I enter here the IP of the device on which localhost is running. And I can access the port on which the project is running and as you can see I can now test that website on my mobile. Now this works only for devices that are connected to the same network as the machine that is running localhost. So if I disconnect from the network and attempt to access this port in a new tab it is no longer going to load. But in this situation, you can make localhost accessible by creating a web tunnel. So this involves setting up an endpoint that when accessed will make a request to localhost on this machine. So for this, I'm going to be using a third party library called ngrok. There are other libraries available, but this one is probably the most well known and popular of them. So we need to install the client on this machine, which we can do with this command. It's going to install via Node Package Manager. So you need to make sure that you have Node.js installed before you continue with the following commands. If you're not sure if Node is already installed, you can run Node Flag V. And if it is installed, then it will return a version number like it did here. So because it's flag G, ngrok is going to be installed globally. So it's not connected to any particular project. Now, once you've installed the client, you can expose a port on localhost. So the port that we're running it on is 5000. 500. So the command is ngrok http followed by what you want to expose. And this is the URL that you can share so others access the exposed port. But if you try to do this, you will get an error because you need to sign up for an ngrok account to serve HTML content. So they do have a free plan 
And once you've done that, you'll have an authorization token. So you can get that in your dashboard and it gives you the command that you need to run to save the authorization token locally so the client can use it. So I'll close the previous instance and again run the ngrok HTTP command. So you can see that this time it's linked to my ngrok account and this time again I'll copy the URL and as you can see I can access what's running on localhost via this URL so just to show you that it works on other devices I'll send the link to my phone so you can see that eventually the local network approach it didn't work on my mobile because I'm not connected to the local network but via the web tunnel link that I created I can view what's on localhost and I could share this link with anyone that wants to give access to what I'm running on localhost so this is how you can access localhost on other devices and share it with others I hope you found this useful if you did please consider hitting the like button down below this video it helps with the algorithm and others to find the video and if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future don't forget you can subscribe to the channel